This is just one example out of many examples of why whatever you think is your handicap is not your handicap. There's actually opportunities within. I want to cover a couple of philosophies, okay, three main philosophies of my program. The first philosophy is business is unlimited for every agent. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients for each and every agent out there. What's up guys, headed to Charlotte today to speak at the Explode Conference, about 500 agents. We're gonna fly in, me and Blake, fly out same day, get it done, inspire some people, and uh, try to help some of these people get on the right track. It's all predicated on how much you can handle. Some people get two or three or four properties under contract and that's it, they're done. They are tied up for weeks and I don't know what they do for eight hours a day with four or five pending deals and six listings. That's literally five minutes a week for me to look at it and say, okay, all that stuff's good. Now where's my next deal coming from? Your success is predicated on two things, how quickly you're gonna adapt and realize what I'm telling you and then how hard you're gonna work and how much you can handle. Okay, me and Blake made it to Charlotte, ready to tear the roof off. Next key philosophy that, that we really push is that it's okay if the market crashes. This is a big one because everybody's scared about the market crashing. We had such a huge crash in 2008, okay? I went through that. And what happened was remarkable. I was just as happy then as I am now and as I was before all that happened because to me, my life is wake up and grind. I just love the process. The big aha moment for me about how to handle a market crash and the fact that we don't have to worry about market crashes ever is when I was studying the market on MLS, tax records, and I noticed that clients that I had before the market crashed were still buying. I was on an oil rig working and they were still buying and selling stuff at the bottom. My third mindset I wanna share with you today, and this is a big one, relationships over transactions. This was the one when I realized my clients were still buying at the bottom. That's when it hit me that I was more concerned with the deals up to that point. I didn't think anything about the people. And when, when I saw that, I thought, man, if I would have stayed like buddies, if, they, if I would have continued those relationships and stayed in touch and saw what I could do to help those people, I would have been, I would have been closing those deals. transactions. Let me dive into that really briefly. What the mainstream training out there says, call sellers, ask them if they want to sell, see if they consider moving. If not, who do they know? Anybody heard that before? Okay, those scripts are designed to figure out what the client can do for you. Think about it. You're asking them if they would please, Mr. Seller, you don't know me, but will you please sell something so I can make a commission? I don't know you, this is the first time we're talking, but please do a deal with me so I can make money, right? Please do something for me. And what I'm saying is throw that away. Take all the 1980 scripts that are out there, follow them up, put them in a pile, and just burn them and adopt my script, which is, hey, Mr. Johnson, hey, this is Ricky Carruth at Remakes of Orange Beach, how you doing? Good, I'm enjoying the days and the gorgeous. Look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold, didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today.
oh my God, this is the very first time that I came out to see Ricky Carruth and I was blown away. This guy just blew my mind. I'm gonna go sign up for Zero to Diamond right now and go see if I can't crush it like him. It was amazing. If you hadn't seen him, you need to go down there right now to stop everything. Just go like, take me to Ricky's event and go down there right now.